about the end show. Wow. All righty. Just making sure it's alive. The internet seems to be struggling a bit. All right, welcome to live impromptu bowling from Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. Let's see how things go. We're on lane four. This place is busy, so 10's out of the question. Let's find out, like I said. That was better. Start with eight. Hello, Chris, and hello, Tom. This is so easy. Converted the Woolworth for a spare. Time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will it be? Stinko lives up to its name with a two. My buddy Chris was unavailable today. God's middle finger for now. Nice pickup. Thank you, Tom. It's our friend Bob Kaliri. Say hi to Bob, everyone. Hi, Bob. Let's say goodbye to Bob. Bye, Bob. Minor loves it. Well, couldn't make Bob go away. What an eight. Half times I will recite. End of games I'll show. So far my worst is seven. 
They have an eight, spare, nine for three, first two making the fill, eight and a seven, 44. Average ability is 90, according to ICBA casual league data. Yes, I'm putting myself up against casual leagues, not regular people. Average spread is around 10, so 80 to 100 we like. We can get rocked. Niner. High single was done here on lane 9, 139. Low of 44 done at Mason's. High trip of 314 done at New Palace upstairs. on that piece of wood. If I deflected it right, probably could have got the 10. Did I mention this place is easy? The only problem is being able to convert again. Middle finger for the nine. Two frames to get ten. Leave the new palace right. If that were only ball two, that's a ten. Pin, duck pin, 10 pin, 5 pin, which ain't around here, or other, which the only one I know of is the Texas 5 pin. My favorite is candle pin, but what is yours? Good question to ask people. Alrighty, I'm already at the bottom end of average. One frame left. Oh my God. Save that one with a nine. One point away from... One 
pin away from exact average. Seven's the worst thing, El Stinko didn't help. If that third frame was a nine and all nine were ball one, it would be a lot better. Game two. Recognition. Someone recognized him on YouTube. Well, it's Putnam's. Time for two El Stinko the bonus balls. Let's see what they add up to. This place, Brian's, and Acton, the juiced up Boladrome, are the only three places I've got doubles. Stinko one gave us a seven. We'll take eight. Eight's a pretty good fill for a strike. Eight stands. I know nine pin Texas and Europe definitely. All right, another eight. not an eight this time. If that went down, it wouldn't have counted because it went in the gutter. Keep forgetting, I gotta look to see if any pins are standing in the pit. They do that here. to do and that's try to be the hero. Could have went for the easy two on the right but I didn't. 
Cut burn with a six, but the half isn't the half is good enough to get away with it, and there's a pin back there. Now it isn't. He had a strike. And then an eight fill from two, which was the eight frame in general. Then an eight, a nine, and a six, 49. This is also the hardest of the 10 pin variants to get a strike. Waiting for the wood to settle, got a new palace right. That piece of wood can help. Or it could do that if it was just a little more to the right, it wouldn't have. That is a nine. Almost a backdoor strike. Got a piece in the wood the back that needs to settle down. These elevated pindex because we're on the second floor of a building. You get a little more action. Plus the way it's supported, the pin plate leans forward and the very back of the lane leans backwards. That's from settling and you know, and an extreme load on the frame for, oh, in this case, since 1942-ish, though. All right, there's still. Finger still there for now. Hello, Chris. Stink frame. Yeah, I don't I don't gamble period. Plus the times I actually did, I never win. Even if it's 100% possible. I'll find a way to make it not. Oh, 
seven. Okay, yeah, this might be the worst, but it might be the best, which isn't saying much. The difference isn't much. We are the last place Everything falls apart. Hey, you know what the score was last time? Same this time, except it fell apart with a pair of sevens. The strike saved it. That's two games. computer is ready. Here we go. How could I possibly blow this one? There's your answer. If this place wasn't so easy, that 10 would not have happened. Pair of 89, so my triple staying put. Two down to two standing. That's an. Got something. Another ten. Yo. Hopefully the pause and restart does something.
Yeah, there's been a problem with a major internet hub go that's gone down. So a lot of people also don't have 911 service on their mobile phones. Might be part of the issue if you're having it. No one else has complained, so might be something on your end. Maybe not your machine or your device, but a connection between your device and YouTube. Take a niner. Is it working for anyone else? This time I don't have my friend Chris to uh, rely on. slightly. <laughs> According to my counter, everything's working. Let me move this a little more so I can actually hit the thumbnail for chat. Oh, I'm hoping it's working. 90. Game number four. I'm wondering if the chat's not functioning too. Well, I know that I know that it does it stops working, but it keeps going on your end. According to this, it's all working fine. for that pin to stop moving. <laughs> Saved it and got a nine. Saved it with eight. Yeah, I think the chat quit on my end. I'll just have to see. Frame three.
That is set up so well. Blowing it's going to hurt. Told you, hurts. Niner. I wonder if anyone responded if this is working. Finger remains for the nine. Is this even working? for the six halftime, nine, eight, nine, nine, six, 41. All right, I need to look at something here. Seem to have internet. I don't know if this thing is just not responding when I ask people anything. I see nothing now. Let's see. Way too full. Counter's moving, so the video must be working to some extent. That is a seven. It seems the chat portion died, which usually happens, especially here. So if you're leaving any chat messages, I ain't seeing them.
right, so the counter's working. Okay, I don't want to hide the chat. This one, yeah. That happened here before is somehow the, the chat session dies. So you're chatting all you want. I can't see a thing. But the video still works. Somebody's having problems. There's been a problem internationally internationally with a particular service, especially on phones. So some of you might not have a video signal. But according to this, everything's working. Sleeper. We got eight. Yeah, this looks like a low one. refuses to leave. We can best thing to do is hit that piece of wood and make it go into the kingpin. Or be lucky enough to hit it dead on and get the spare. So I'm hoping it's all working. Somebody wasn't. But this thing's chugging along. I've stopped it a few times just to try and kick the chat into gear, but that didn't work. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Outside of the strike fill, everything else stunk. Well, Stinko stinks for the leaf. The fill of six is okay. That brings us into average ability on the bottom end. is my low and if this is my low I'm not all that upset. Problem is consistent. 87. The six and five was the worst thing. Decent fill with the nine. I mean, you got the spare nine. Decent fill is six and ten unfortunately. Got cursed a little bit. Frame of seven. 87. This thing's not wanting to move itself along. Game number five. Too full. Now I gotta hit that piece of wood on the left, snap it into that six pin. Or do that and get the spare. Did not see that one coming. That was dumb luck. Completely the wrong side. Then again, this place has uh, 
this place has DSL, so maybe picture will go in. It's not because the bowling owner can't get good, you know, good internet. It's not available in an urban place. El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what the bonus is. Just one spare bonus fill was good. Everything else sucked. That's a one. Because it's DSL, it works and it stops, but everything else works. I do notice it does drop out once in a while. That was luck. Uh, that piece of wood facing us, not good. One next to it, fatten it up. Let's see what happens. Too far right. Niner. Set up to blow it. Piece of wood next to the four horsemen that could help carry the ball. God's middle finger for nine. And at the half, spare, seven and two, only one making the fill. Eight and a pair of nines. Halfway decent, 44. Stink frame so far, but a craptacular five. That could ruin things. That, I think that might have ruined it.
great. Actually, we're still okay. Not that great, but okay. Yeah, we don't want that three pin falling. It's actually good that it stayed up. This is a weak one. It's so hard to get a strike in this version. I don't know why I'm checking the chat, it doesn't seem to work. Not matter it's a nine. All right. In order to hit the bottom end of average ability, I need seven. but we made it. And an 8 for 81. Very weak. The 5 and 6. The 7 and 2 and 8 didn't help. 81. Clean play to some sort. Ten.
niner. That helps. Six. Looks like the magic has died. Looks like this is going to be the garbage game. 10, 7, 9. 10 and 9, those are the only good things. Otherwise, a 7, 6, and 7. Rebuildable 39. shot finally happened. Let's pretend the chat works and see if anybody's there. Of course not. All right. Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Only one space bonus was good. They all, the rest of them was stunk. And the one strike I got was a decent eight. Though. What will this one be? It could right the ship. Strike on spare. That definitely writes the ship. Now we have two El Stinko the bonus balls. El Stinko one lives up to its name. Spectacular fill of four for a strike. There he is. And the bowling guards telling me how much I suck. That's a nine. This may be the best game. We're at 82 and two frames left. Not counting on it today the way things are going, but usually I can get at least one three digit score here. Perfect, that's what we need. We needed that spare. And we are on DSL, so the you know, video's dodgy. 
El Stinko the bonus ball yet again. What will we get? One strike and one spare. Those are the only... That's how many were good. Everything else stunk. Stinko is weak with a four. Should have been ball two, but hey. Three digits. We usually do it at least once. All right, that's the high on 106. Lousy six and four, seven and five help. Neither does the seven and two. The four fill and nine doesn't help. The second ball missing and the third getting everything on 10 doesn't help. A Cinderella moment hasn't happened in a very long time. I think the magic is over. Game number, all right, push the button. There we go, game seven. That's the best possible start you can get. Two well stink of the bonus balls. Can we get a third bonus that's actually good? Stinko one lived up to its name with a two. Looks like the only two good fills we've ever had. Crappy five fill on a strike. So, yeah, welcome to my world. isn't too bad. I wish the fill was better. to throw it away.
Eight. The way things are going, eight is not enough. Another patented wish it was ball two a moment with a ten. Yeah, chat's dead, so if you've been saying stuff, I can't see it. Like I said, it seems to happen here. And I think at the palace too, because that's DSL as well. It's using all the bandwidth to try and push a video out. Halftime report. Strike. Eight and two. Five of those, unfortunately, being it for the fill on the strike. And a five, an eight and a 10, at least no stinkers. We got a 46. That itself isn't really too bad. Another perfectly set up spare that I probably will blow. Sure enough, exactly what happened. Set up for a pretty decent game. about just barely the spare. Time for El Stink on the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Stinko stinks for the leave, but finally another good fill. That's a seven. Inverted half Worcester left. remains for the eight. All right, that many away from average ability. Right in the middle.
Niner. So close, but so far. This might be the one three-digit score. 98 still ain't bad. This place is hot. They had a lot of people in here. I don't know if it's showing or not. Those that mentioned it before will know what I'm talking about. Before we start game eight, I'm gonna clean the balls. A battery. Too full. Here's a messenger I was not expecting to arrive. Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Stinko once again stinks for the leave, but the fill of six is not bad. So the fill, seven. That's why I like this place. It's supposed to be very easy. 100% legit too. Second piece of wood. It looks like one giant piece of wood to you. It's a roadblock next to the one you can see. The helicopter that Sam Sitar likes so much gives us the spare. Time for another L stink of the bonus ball. What will the bonus be on this one? All right, a good fill of seven and a decent lead. Hey George, first time making it. Mr. Wheels, okay, so chat got through this time. Time for El Stink of the Bonus Ball, and in Candlepin Bowling, if you get three marks in a row, any combination of strikes and spares, it's considered a turkey. Three spares in a row is an obscure term in any bowling known as a chicken. If I get the turkey, I am going to show you the animation. That's the only time I do the animation showing now. 
Let's see what else Stinko has for us. Backdoor strike. Which means two spares and a strike. Turkey time. As I said in candle pin bowling, you just have to mark three times in a row. The two spares and the strike and candle pin is a turkey. And that also brings us to our halftime report, which is quite amazing. This could be a, a grossly needed Cinderella moment that I've been waiting a long time to have happen. Spare, seven and two with a six fill. Spare, spare again in four, but seven of the from ball one fills three. Then a strike in five, which makes the 10 fill in four. So far with two, I'll stink of the bonus balls to go. We are at at least a 70 for the half. Well, Stinko one kind of stinks with the leaf, but five. Another spare that makes a 10 fill. This looks like a Cinderella game. It would suck if it ain't working, because right now my half is an 80. And again, it's displaying the turkey animation, the exact same one. Stinko really stinks for the leave, but a six fill ain't too bad. And no mark. The bowling god is showing that he's not, he's not happy. God is telling us it's over. Three frames to go and we're already in three digits. This might be the great collapse, which usually happens. All right, I'm only seven pins away with two frames of hitting what I refer to as the Cinderella moment. That's a 120 or higher. Who's here? Bowling odds. We made the Cinderella point. Yeah. 
I wish that was ball two. Final frame. In order to beat my high single of 139, I need to mark and get a seven. A mark and a six will tie it. So much for that. That was going to be a stink frame, but it wasn't. However, it's still a good score for me. Yeah, I wish I could take a picture of that. Well, I know what I can take a picture of, and that's the score sheet. One thirty, only a Cinderella game. Now for the big crash. And unfortunately, that ball pretty much went where I threw it, the second one. Can't say it was bad luck. I don't have all the answers. Door spare. Roll fast enough to do it. And I know if the pin just simply plops forward, there's another six inches to the deadwood line, so the pin would be good. I'll stink of the bonus ball. Let's see what the bonus is. Bob Kaleri decided to ruin my bonus. Nonetheless, a five on a spare is all right. again.
Another spear. Maybe something's finally clicking. Ten pin is better than this. Ten pin's a lot easier. Time for El Stink of the Bonus Ball. Not to say Ten Pin doesn't have its challenges. Let's see what the bonus is. The fact that the game is hard is why a lot of people that play Ten Pin rather prefer the Ten Pin. Not knock it, because I play that too. Let's see what the bonus is. That's why throwing hard can be a good thing. I'm just a little short of hard in terms of throwing the ball. Eight fill. Makeable spare that piece of wood behind the head pin. Sorry about that. My voice cracked. My voice cracked. At the half, we got an eight, a spare, an eight and three, five from ball one, making the fill. Spare and four. Spare and five, first eight, making the fill for four. We are at least 59 at the half with El Stinko. Again, lousy leave, but a decent fill of six. So that brings us to... Oh, it says 59. Actually, it would be, be a 65 half. I named the right seem to overcompensate a lot if I do. Niner. Yeah, it was a 65. Point. I think the end is nigh. Got an eight. Still a very good game. God's middle finger, nine. And hit three digits again.
just hit the other pin, not helicopter, to work. Would have been great if I got the dumb luck spare. Too much on the line for nine. One more, one more frame, we're in three digits. doesn't matter because no miracle, no Cinderella. We're in three digits. Too full on the piece of wood. Still not too bad. First thing was the five fill, otherwise everything else was okay. Yeah, they, this place was full and they had the heat on high, so it's very, very humid in here. Hence the, uh, plus the lens is scratched on the uh, wine angle lens that YouTube wants to use instead of the regular camera. We got a 108. I love cannibal bowling, but hardly get to bowl. Last week I bowled 10 pin with my dad, which I loved. I had a little oil, so it didn't do that good. Well, that happens. Oh, as I'm thinking, I read that fast enough that there was too little oil. That'll do it. Game 10. Talk about getting robbed. Wish I was ball two. That girl in was got my attention. I could have stopped and went back, but I decided to accept the delivery and screwed up ball two. My fault. Ball two. Frame two. I said straight frame two, ball one. Something wrong. Four horsemen. No, and a nine and ten. I think the 
is the crash. Six. Exactly where I want. Yeah, there we go. Temporal Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Stinko stinks with the four horsemen remaining, but a fill of six itself is not too bad. to the fill, the six. But a decent half time. 10, nine, six, spare and four, and the lousy six and five, which happens to be the fill, 47. stink frame of a day. After, in 10 games, that's pretty impressive. Well, we barely missed the stink frame. As Dave Madela would say, we left the flux capacitor for six. Slightly a little more left than what I wanted, but it did the job for a spare. Time for a little stink of the bonus ball yet again. Crappy fill, crappy leave, crappy fill, crappy leave, or good. What will it be? Leave seven fill. Although that piece of wood up front might be good, maybe.
10. Six and three and five and seven. Ninety-eight with three sixes. That's actually kind of a feat. Yeah, we got a ninety-eight with that. Go to the computer. Number eleven. standing in a leave that Dave says is nearly impossible and I get it almost every time. right and the eight. Once again, I went for the cardinal sin of going for broke. That's a six. 
seems if I try to go right, I go too far. New palace left. Big piece of wood to fatten it up. Niner, half time. Nine eight eight six nine squeaking by with forty. Consistent. Nines and tens are better, and of course, marks with fills even better. Goal post for eight. Nice try, just didn't work. Barely keeping it alive, that's an eight. Ended badly anywhere else. Stupid dumb luck. Just needs six to make it into the average ability territory. Just barely made bottom end of average. The six and four, six and ten, no marks. Yeah. Pardon me. Hello, uh, 
Evo. I keep forgetting to check the comments because it it tends to die out here. All right. In twelve. Still dodging that stink frame. Barely, that's a five. This one alone for nine. There we go, a half. Hour. Finally got one. stinker of the day and it took 12 games to happen for time. This might be the first mediocre game, or worse. My low here is a 58. 
at Putnam's, 58. Anyway, 5, 9, 8, 4, 10, 36. This one's full of stinkers. It's a 30. Five, four, and three. Wonderful. Well, mediocre if I'm lucky. Too late, it's a 10. Not deserve the time. Dumb luck. This game's junk. The rare whole stretch with no mediocre games. The rare stretch of all games being good, not happening. And the train wreck's over. This is definitely a low. Nothing good there at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, at least six decent marks. I mean, six decent frames. Garbage. Lucky 13.
big time shot for you. Falling out to middle finger, how appropriate for now. Here, Bob Caleri's got his ugly head going again. Good try, just didn't work. Got screwed twice. except for eight and two, 44. shot that happened
favorable piece of wood in the front. Watch me blow it. Wow, a gimme that I actually got. Finally a mark. Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Stinko living up to its name with a two. Keeping with the minimals. We're in good territory, are we? was going to work, I should have made that ball too. Ten. I think that's actually the end of this particular game. And it is. Not bad. Alright, so nine to eight, spare, lousy two fill from the eight and nine. And one ten, ninety one. See how much battery life is left. Good enough for another game. It's going to complain about being at 15%. In that case, we're going to call number 14 the game. to the right, not the left. They'll stink of the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? New Palace left with a Niner.
This will be it. Battery's at critical stage. It'll make it through this game, no problem. I'll stink on the bonus ball. What will it be? Well, Stinko was weak with a four. with a nine. Waking up just in time for the battery to go kaputs. That's a 10. 13%. We definitely will make it. Eight. Spare. Spare again in three. First ball giving nine. Four is a nine. First four pins of that filled the spare. And a 10 and five. 60 at the half. Happy five. Doing good enough we could afford it. Didn't want it to happen, but we could afford it. So many disappointments so soon, so close together. Ten. Stinkle the bonus ball. We're already in the average ability range. Let's see what we get. No palace left for a nine. Two in a row. 
another mark and it's a turkey. Three spares in a row, a chicken. We are in three digits to wrap it up. Last frame. Beautiful nine fell. El Stinko finishes strong today. No turkey. Let's see if we can just get the one. No, we don't. Cinderella territory, barely, but hey, I'm taking it. That lousy five and six. Lousy fill of four in the three, but a nine from four. 122. So, that's what we got. And, yes. Tom, I'm gonna go so slow, I'm done. And that's this impromptu bowling session, Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg. Hopefully the DSL cooperated most of the time. For some reason, downtown Fitchburg and the area, New Palace Lanes also serves. Nobody wants to put high speed there. Georgia 551 saying, hope you enjoyed and have a good one.